Hi, I'm Mark Hummel, and I just wanted to introduce the artist that we're going to be uh, doing a tribute to today is uh, the great Jimmy Reed, who was a huge influence on me and so many other people. Uh, I grew up in East L.A., and in East L.A., they loved Jimmy Reed, and, and you could just turn on R&B radio, and you'd hear Jimmy Reed, uh, you know, all the time in the, in the mid-60s, and so as, I, as a kid, I heard... Honest I do, and I also heard Slim Harpo scratch my back on the radio all the time. I didn't realize it at the time that that's who they were, but uh, later on um, it, it kicked in that that's who I, I had been listening to back then. So by the 70s, the mid-70s, when I came up to the Bay Area from Los Angeles, uh, I was playing in blues bands, and, and many of the artists, the older black blues artists I was playing with, were incorporating Jimmy Reed into their sets. People like Mississippi Johnny Waters would do Can't Stand to See You Go, and You Don't Have to Go, and some of the other Go songs that Jimmy Reed did. And so I learned to play that style pretty much right away, the high blow band stuff and, uh, and, and just some of his second position solos. And uh, I got to see Jimmy Reed in 1976, two days before he passed away. He played at the Savoy Tivoli in North Beach. Uh, he died in Oakland two days later of an epileptic seizure from alcoholism. But he had been sober the night I saw him. He had been sober for a few months before he died. And he was just amazing. I got to meet him, Sonny Rhodes introduced me to him he was opening the show for jimmy and and i got to meet jimmy reed shake his hand and he seemed like a real down home nice guy and uh he put on just a magnificent performance on harmonica singing and playing guitar much stronger singer and guitar player than i realized until i saw him live once i saw him live i realized really what a just what an amazing amazingly great artist he was and in 1982, I hired Jimmy Reed to come out here. I mean, I hired Eddie Taylor to come out here, who was Jimmy Reed's right-hand man. And Jimmy Reed uh, uh, figured prominently in his life because he was the guy that played the lump, as they call it, in the background uh, of all those records uh, from the 50s through the 60s. Eddie Taylor was really the, 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 the sound that created Jimmy Reed. Uh, when I was a kid, like 14, 15, and I started playing harmonica, I also goofed around with, with the guitar, and the first thing I learned to play on the guitar was the lump from listening to a, 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 a little Jimmy Anderson record um, as uh, on Accello Records, and Accello was really chock full of guys that imitated Jimmy Reed like Slim Harpo and uh, little Jimmy Anderson was one of the greatest Jimmy Reed kind of copyists there was. Uh, people like Lazy Lester, um, Ray Fel Neal, all these guys tried to sound like Jimmy Reed on their records on Excello. So all of this had a big influence on me, and to this day, I still just love to listen to Jimmy Reed as much as I do little Walter. I can listen to him all day long. So we're going to just present some of his more obscure songs for you today, and some popular ones. So I hope you enjoy it. All right.
I'm telling you, man, doing the harp when you go from the low end to the high end, it's fucking hard, man, because it's it'll just come right out of your mouth. <laughs> Second flow, what you don't know, reaching too high, boy, you're bound to hit the flow. Oh, oh, oh. I'm that man down there. Well, you better watch out, boy.
what songs I'm going to do and just do it. Do them. <laughs>
call you pretty. I know you're fine. You better let them know, baby, that you mine, oh mine. You better hear me, baby. They believe what I say. Well, I found me a true love. 
the world is in Well it's hard to believe the condition the world is in You can't trust nobody Oh, 
nails, you better get some inch showing on the baby. Take out some inch showing on the baby. Cause if you ever, ever say goodbye, I'm gonna howl right off and die. Thank you. 